Hello and welcome to MailTrap videos where we explore the world of emails. Today we cover how to test emails in Laravel. In our previous videos we explored various sending methods in Laravel. This time we're diving into email testing. We'll cover two testing methods, using MailTrap email testing and using a log driver. Let's start with MailTrap email testing, as it provides a safe environment for inspecting and debugging emails in staging and dev environments. Head over to MailTrap.io and click on the sign up button in the upper right corner. Choose the method of registration, fill in the necessary fields and click on the sign up button. Go to email testing and use the mailbox created by default or set up a new one. This mailbox will receive emails and prevent them from reaching the recipients. Under the SMTP settings tab, click show credentials to reveal the credentials of the fake SMTP server. Go to your Laravel project and open the env file. It contains all the necessary configurations for sending emails. We'll configure the settings that have the mail prefix using email testing's credentials. You'll need to copy the SMTP host, port, username, and password. Next to mail from address, indicate your sending email address. The mail from name in our case will take the value of the app name variable. The next step is to create a mailable class. We've already created it in our project. If you don't have it, you can create it using the PHP artisan make mail command, followed by the class name, such as test Laravel mail, for example. Let's return to our class. This class takes the name parameter in its constructor, which is then used in the mail test email template. The template will look something like this. The name variable will be substituted with the recipient's name. To send the email, we'll use the Tinker Console utility in Laravel. You can configure it using the PHP Artisan Tinker command. This allows us to run the code from the command line. Use the mail facade and the to method to specify the recipient. This can be any email address, since the email will arrive in MailTrap's virtual inbox, not in our recipient's mailbox. Call the send method and pass an instance of the mailable class by specifying the full namespace. In our example, it's app mail my test email. Pass the recipient's name as the parameter. Let's run the code and check the inbox. And there you go, the email is right there. This time, we sent a plain text test email but to leverage all of email testing's features, it's better to test an HTML template. You can explore HTML, HTML source, text, raw, spam analysis, and tech info tabs to analyze various aspects of your emails. Now, let's see how you can test emails using the log driver. Similar to the previous example, we have to generate a mailable class. Once that's done, we need to configure the log driver which writes the email sending information to log files instead of sending emails. The information about this driver is located in the mail.php file in the config directory. To enable the log driver, go to the env file and find the mail mailer. If you have SMTP or any other driver here, you should change it to log. The logs will be written to the pre-configured location, such as a file, database, etc. In our example, logs are written to a file. To start testing the emails, we'll be using Tinker once again. Use the mail facade and specify the recipient using the to method. If you don't indicate an email address here, you'll see an error. And since we're using the log driver and the emails won't be sent, you can use any email address. Call the send method and configure it similarly to our previous example. Run the code. There are no errors, so let's check our logs. Logs are located in the storage directory under logs. Find the log for the current date and open it. Here you can see all the details of the email we just fake sent, including the specified recipient's email address, headers, and body. And the name parameter was also passed correctly. We sent a template and you can see exactly that in the logs. All done, you now know how to test emails in Laravel without spamming recipients. 
Once all the tests are completed, send your emails in production with an email sending solution. One like MailTrap email sending. For more instructions, watch our video on sending emails in Laravel. All the links will be available in the description below. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by MailTrap, an email delivery platform to test, send, and control your email infrastructure in one place. Like and share this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to see more tutorials like this one. Don't forget to check out our other videos for more useful content on email deliverability. See you in our next one.